Are we live? We are live. We are live. Good morning, beautiful people. Or good evening or good night, <laughs> depending on which part of the world you are watching. My name is Luca. This is my wife, Sara. And this Hi, beautiful everybody. little lady is our daughter, Luce. Good morning, guys. It's so emotional to be here with you it's so beautiful to see you happy new year happy 2024 thank you so much for your support for following us along our adventures we are very grateful for this amazing community and that's why we decided to be live today so that we can chat a little bit it's been a very long time yes i think the last live stream was in february yes last year. over one yeah one year ago one year ago Good morning, guys. Let us know if you can hear us, if, if you can see us, how is the quality of the connection. By the way, we are here in Torino at Nonna's Bruna's house. We are live from Torino, Italy, Turin. Yes, so we can have some help during the live stream because Lucia now is, is active, <laughs> as you may know. And I would like to say also thank you to Nonna Bruna, of course, and to my brother Dave, is the moderator of today's live stream. So you can meet him in the comments. <laughs> in the chat or in the comments yes in the chat and the comments so guys a lot of you beautiful people have been following us for a very long time since the beginning yeah so we started youtube in 2017 sounds crazy to think about it yeah. <laughs> seven years ago wow. may 2017 we started our project and we are still here and we know that a lot of, a lot of you beautiful people are new on this channel so first of all we would like to say that we decided to film a q a video for next week so, next sunday yes next sunday so if you have any question if you have everything that you want to know please let us know in the comments don't write in the chat but please write in the comments yes so that we can collect all the questions and then answer you in the next episode we have 1030 300 people watching thank you guys well imagine trying to feed all these people in one room yeah. how, <laughs> we'll be... how big the room should be <laughs> yes. amazing 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 so from where are you watching us guys new york rocky mountains toronto I, I, I saw a lot of Texas. messages yeah. uh, on the chat uh, from Australia yes, and yes. Uh, they were going to sleep because it was already <laughs> over uh, 3 a.m. in yeah. the morning. So unfortunately, uh, our, big, uh, our biggest audience is North America and North of Europe. So we decided to, to, to do the live uh, right now here in Italy, here in Torino. It's uh, 5 p.m. Uh, let's say. Wow, Three look. minutes past uh, Boston, Montreal, Citrezza, Sicily, Atlanta, Mexico, Florida, Greece, uh, California, Mexico, Nebraska, South Africa, New York City, India, Portugal, Australia, Colorado, Poland. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, guys. Thank it's, you so much for fast joining us. It's even just to read. Uh, <laughs> yes. Finland, uh, Croatia. Yes. Brazil. Wow. So many people, Germany, beautiful people watching. Croatia. Wow, France, Serbia, Turkey. Yeah, and it's, it's a little bit complicated to find the right time to be live because we are in Italy and as Luca said, we have to try to find the, the yes. perfect spot for everybody all around the world. And now with Luce is even more a challenge because <laughs> we need to find somebody available to help us. Now here behind the camera, we have uh, Nonna Bruna, my mother that is uh, playing uh, uh, with Luce right now, so yeah. it's amazing to, to be able to have uh, somebody who can help us. So, guys, uh, 2024 will be full, full year. Yeah. Year full of emotion, full of activities, full of travels, full of everything, full of Sicily. Uh, I don't know if you, if you, if you follow our, our adventure, you know that we bought a property in Sicily, a beautiful olive grove, and we bought also one euro house that we are renovating. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people, before we start talking and chatting with you, would like to know uh, more about you. How is everything going? Okay, so basically we'll be... Uh, keeping you updated uh, in the next weeks uh, because uh, actually right now 
the only thing I have done is the MRI yeah. and um, the doctor needs to see the MRI and uh, I have the appointment uh, for uh, the doctor on uh, on the 16 you have the blood test and on the and other checkups and on the 18 you have the the okay we the don't we don't know yet uh, when the doctor will see and uh, will tell Good me to come. how is it going uh, we will keep you updated uh, uh, but uh, mentally and physically I'm in the same place uh, uh, which is uh, you know a, Oh, a thin you. layer of ice. Uh, um, oh, thank you. Because sometimes it's harder, oh, yeah. and uh, I'm in that place where uh, I would like to have uh, a different uh, life right now. But at the same time, uh, I'm in that place that I need to be grateful because uh, I know that the other option uh, was. Uh, really really yeah not not to be drastic not, not, yeah we don't want to be dramatic but this is the reality yeah and we we feel all your prayers we Thank feel you. all your 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 thoughts your positive thoughts your vibe it's, it's very important uh even when luca uh experienced this three strokes we filmed because it was very important to him and to me as well to to have the support of the community because you know uh, as I said before we started YouTube in 2017 so this is 100% our life yeah uh, YouTube is our work is our job yeah, yeah. and of course filming our real life it's it's very complicated to separate the two things so you the private life and the bis the, the business and the, the yeah. job life is all together yeah it's a job but it's also our life it's a reality we yeah. share everything we we do we experience uh, uh we we just keep private uh small part of our life uh, almost everything else uh, we share with you we feel like uh, a big family and um, yeah of course you see only 30 minutes 35 minutes every week of what we really experience what we really lived but uh, yeah, yeah we try to share the less boring things uh, because <laughs> of course uh, we don't show you cleaning the house uh, making laundry <laughs> making cooking and uh, cleaning dishes all the things uh, that uh, we need to do to do also just to uh, you know changing diapers and <laughs> <laughs> no yeah that's not the best part <laughs> yes like i would like to share more of all the playing with lucha but then uh, it would be a channel only uh, showing it's us playing already with... lucha is the star of this of this yeah. channel like we are sharing a lot of her because you know we don't have a nanny we don't have babysitter our grandparents so the our nonny, family is they, not really close uh, no most they live the far away from us so a few hours away and we of course now we chose to to move and to live in sicily so we are very far away from the rest of our family we are like 10 hours 12 hours away uh, so it's not easy to see uh, our our nonni and we are dealing with luce basically uh by ourselves yeah 100 percent so, percent uh, so it's, it's sometimes it's complicated, but you know, you know very well uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, when we decided to have a, a, a child, uh, we said, okay, well, our number one priority is yeah. uh, to have a job that allowed us to stay with her 100%, both of us, because um, both of us wanted to be there yeah, and, and uh, experience uh, this, uh, this beautiful experience and adventure of uh, having a child and a yeah but we it. never experienced the fact of being youtubers yes. filmmaker and having a child that needs constant attention you know uh, so it, sometimes you are talking you are trying to film it's already difficult for us because English is not our mother tongue as you may know um, so we have to think about what we are saying we have to say it correctly we don't have to uh, you know say something strange and at the same time we have to to watch and to check on Luce and we have so many people watching right now, guys. We have over 2,000 people watching. Thank you so much. Steve. Steve, I want an olive from your, your dream. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is another big, 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 big topic, subject. Yes. Our olive oil. We are not ready to sell the extra virgin olive oil we produce. 
uh, because it's very complicated for us because especially we have a lot of people watching and following us from United States, from... Yeah, all the bureaucracy yeah. here in Europe, uh, here in Italy, and uh, then especially if we want to send it uh, to another continent uh, overseas, it's um, kind of complicated. So we are working behind the scenes. Uh, there is so much we are doing behind the scenes. Uh, oh. And uh, in right now, uh, it's complicated because of what we need to go to the hospital and mentally sometimes we just want to you know disconnect from everything uh, because it is too much uh, but we are working also on that uh, behind yeah, the scenes. We are working on a very big project that we cannot reveal right now right now because it's not 100% sure so we have to wait. So if, <laughs> it, if it's like 100% uh, sure signed and everything's it's done it basically amazing. We will reveal it, uh, it's something in Sicily, but for now we, we just uh, work, wait and hope uh, that everything works out. So it was pretty strange to come back to Piedmont after so long year, in six Sicily. months in Sicily non-stop. In the beginning our idea was everything so unexpected guys, we wanted so hard to buy something in Sicily, but we decided to, to leave Piedmont in April and just go and, and see, you know, to see what were the options, to see like over 60 properties. And then at the end we say, okay, let's do it. Especially after what happened to Luca, we said, we have to carpe diem, let's go, let's do it. Otherwise we, yeah. we have to wait and then we will never do it. We so We need, need to leave the moment uh, because... Uh... Yeah, and then we said, okay, let's try to go in June, in July. If it's too hot, then we can come back to Lucky Land in Piedmont. And then we just we decided to stay in Sicily because it was just too much to do. This is another thing. We decided to go to Sicily to slow down a little bit and to say, okay, now we will enjoy, we'll go to the sea. And yeah, like we've, always. <laughs> we figured it out that uh, Sar and I, we are not able to slow down, uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's a problem because then uh, if you don't like slow down, then you eventually hit uh, on something and uh, because your body, your mind, and uh, your energy is just when you reach the, you know, you burn out. Yeah, you have to be very careful. Yeah, like, we need to. People like us, as we said, we are very used to have many, many projects all together. And yeah, to, our, it's even impossible to stop. Our previous jobs, uh, our previous lives uh, before YouTube uh, was, they were really full. We were working, uh, working, 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 working so hard, uh, so many hours and uh, that we are used to it. Uh, and uh, now it's kind of, uh, we're doing the same thing with YouTube, but YouTube is not something that you work uh, nine hours, 10 hours uh, a day, and then you just turn off, uh, but it's our life. So we are basically working nonstop. Uh, even, uh, Lately, we are um, finding it hard to sleep during the night. So even during the night, we are basically yeah. working because uh, we have so many things. But that at think. some point, you have to just yes. stop and Absolutely. think about what you we have. Uh, not always thinking about what you don't have and uh, working on something you know different. Now we have we need really need to focus on the land on the olive grove. We have tons of work to do. Uh, we need to start pruning on the olive trees because uh, they are over, some of them are over 1000 years old. Some of them are, I don't know, 200, 300, 400, 500 years old. So they are monuments. We don't want to uh, lose them. And so that's why we have to take care of them. And you have to do the pruning between January and March. So in our plans, was I to think, go... I believe March, it could be too late uh, okay. because it, it has to be cold. Okay. Because once it starts getting warm again, yeah, it's not... the tree, it's alive. It's already like, uh, I don't know the, the right term in, uh, in, uh, in English, but we say dormiente when it's cold. It's during, sleeping. Kind it's of kind sleeping. of sleeping. So you can prune it when it's sleeping, yeah. but the once you wake up again, uh, which starts uh, from March, uh, then it can be too late. Uh, but uh, let's and say... And we have 115 olive uh, trees. Olive trees. Yes. Plus, we also have another part of the property... Yeah, that, that we never... Like, <laughs> we need to clean it because it's, it's, wild. Real, it's really wild. Uh, 
So we need to try also to, to start working on that part of the property that we need to find with the maps where are the um, confini. The, um, the borders, can you yes, say borders? Of the property, I don't know if you can say borders. borders. And uh, uh, so our previous plan before December, beginning of December before coming back to, to Torino was to go back um, in, in January in Sicily to start the pruning because it will take a lot of time. The trees are big. Some of them are just ginormous. We need some help for sure because we cannot do that like everything by ourselves. Uh, but we need to postpone this. So I hope that we will not be too late. And then we have another problem is that Luca will probably have the surgery, the operation the end of January, February slash February. Yeah, and we don't know yet. Uh, probably we hope the, to the end uh, everything uh, by the first part of uh, February. So in our plans, uh, we were supposed to come to north of Italy in Torino, have Christmas, have New Year, and then go back to Sicily in January and uh, all February to, to prune. And uh, now we don't know when we can go back. And I have. Uh, in February, I will have to go. Uh, I'm studying. I'm studying to become a professional farmer, as I mentioned in our previous. In Italian, video. it's uh, imprenditore agricolo. Yeah, it's IAP, imprenditore agricolo. Um, so I need to be back in Sicily in February because I have to do the the exam. Yeah. Uh, the test. In person, the test in person. I'm I'm doing everything online. I have to study 200 hours online with some tests in between. Um, so we need to figure out these things here, but of course this is not important. What is very important is our priority now is Luca's health. We need to try to just, you know, um, I don't want to say solve this problem, but try at least to, to fix this if it's possible. And uh, I will try to... Uh, anyone interested in buying the house in Piedmont? So. Yeah, we, we have been thinking a lot uh, about Lucky Land, yes. uh, which is our house uh, um, here in Piedmont, uh, here near Torino. And um, we don't know yet. Uh, like, uh, yeah. we were It's thinking uh, if rent it, uh, if uh, sell it. Uh, Airbnb, but Airbnb would be like good. But for then sure you need business. somebody there yeah. that makes the check-in, check-out, cleaning. Uh, cleaning is like a, a job. So we don't know yet, but definitely we need to think about that. But again, uh, we are not uh, yeah. in like uh, in this moment of our lives. We have so many projects going on that uh, we are overwhelmed. Uh, and uh, if we need to sell it or rent it, uh, we need to empty all our stuff. Uh, we need to finish uh, some details and some things that... The house needs to be perfect. Yes. Perfect to be lived. And everything is new because we renovated the house last year in uh, from April to July. So let's see, this is something that we need to think yeah. about. So why do you want to become a professional farmer? Uh, are you not already a farmer? I see a question here. Um, so, no, we are not professional farmers yet. And in Italy... Uh, you need to have a kind of degree to... I don't have a degree in uh, Agraria. Uh, agri, uh, agri, agri, culture. Culture no. degree. I don't know. I have a degree in, in, in cinema, in communication. So in something completely different. Yeah. And if... And first of all, I would like to, to learn and to study because I think it's never to learn to study a new subject, something new. It's because never too late. It's, it's never, I said, it's never, never, to, to, it's to never too new. Yeah. Uh, it's never too late to study something new. It's, it's uh, something, you know, it's a challenge for yourself. Uh, and then second of everything, if I will have this degree, this, this certification, yeah. how can you call it, then I can, I can have access in Sicily to some programs especially for women yeah. that are uh, younger than 40, 40 years old so yeah they are incentivating uh, uh, young people to become farmers uh, because uh, young people here in Italy don't want to do anymore like they want to have uh, jobs uh, in office uh, in uh, they don't want to yeah. get their hands dirty and work the land because it can be really hard 
it is harder and uh, Sara is starting because we would like to try to keep the old but at the same time use uh, the new techniques uh, and try to be really good uh, with the soil with the land uh, we want to try to do everything uh, uh, perfect uh, organically using the water that we have from the rain collecting the water in the right uh, way but also safety i mean uh, yeah. she now we we are studying together we are reading together even if she, she will be the one but i'm studying with her because uh, also for all the safety things uh, here in Italy it's really important that every tool needs to be certified. Everything. Even if you have volunteers, so not yes. if you are just you know hiring somebody, if you are uh, if you're working together with volunteers, you need to follow some safety rules and I want to know because it's very important. Uh, and and on the land uh, you need to have uh, like uh, first uh, ID kits, uh, you, you need to have the course of the um, uh, Primo soccorso. Um, the, I don't remember now. So basically, if something happens, uh, you need to be able to 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 save to intervene, uh, intervene. And intervene. And to save, so to save lives. Yeah. also like uh, knowing uh, all the basics to um, to intervene if something happens. So it, there is a lot of studying, a lot of things that we need to do. And we have done farming. We have some experience in farming. At Lackland, for example, we always have like our uh, green garden we we plant and we eat our own food but having a 1.5 hectare land with olive trees we don't know anything about olive trees like compared but, to other people but also um, like here in Italy if it's something private that you do it for yourself you don't have rules or laws but once you have a business uh, that you are selling or you have employees or you have somebody working on your property even just volunteers uh, or even just uh, a guest a friend of us comes uh, and uh, he hurt himself on the property is not a private property but it becomes like a business uh, and uh, yeah, so all the rules and the laws change in that case so we need to be aware because if anything happened uh, yeah. if nothing happens uh, it's okay but then uh, the problem is if just a little thing happen, you need to be prepared, you need to need to know all the laws and what happened. And I, I studied that uh, the, in Italy, like the agricultural field is the field where we have more um, accidents. Yes, so the, 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 the biggest uh, cause of uh, injuries uh, in Italy and, and death on, uh, on the job, how do you say? Yeah, 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 while you are working. While you are working here in Italy, it's, uh, it's uh, agriculture. Farming. Agriculture. Farming, so uh, that they are making a lot of laws and rules and uh, things uh, to try to make uh, that kind of job less uh, yeah. dangerous, uh, but at the same time, uh, it Thank gets you. more complicated because you need to learn a lot of things. Thank you, Jaded. Thank you so much. Uh, we have another question. How long do you think it will take to finish your house in Sicily? Um, so the house in Sicily is... I cannot say it's almost done, but we so have done the... We have been... A, a lot of people have been asking, all our friends and family since we were back. Uh, so basically, if we wanted to pay somebody to do it uh, it would be already finished yeah. but since uh, we wanted to do uh, most of the things uh, we we were filming and we were also working on other projects uh, while we were renovating the house uh, it become really um, long we didn't expect that also because we didn't expect the other things I that we had it. I expected it, guys. I said to Luca because he told me, you know, we will be in the house in September. I say it's <laughs> not. October. Yeah, you told me in September. And in the beginning was at the end of August. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. And I say no. And no, then no. we <laughs> had the deadline at the end of October. <laughs> but then, uh, I know because I know Luca is very optimistic, yes. and for every project, every do-it-yourself project, it's always like this. I, I, because he's the master, I'm just the helper, and I ask him before we start something. <laughs> How long would you, would you think it will take us to finish the project? It will say, we go like, yeah, one week, 
maximum 10 days and then I guess it's three months, four months. So I already know. And I, I said to him, I think that we will not able to move before the beginning of next year. And he said, no, absolutely no. Okay, I'm still used. Uh, <laughs> like in my mind, uh, I know that, okay, I could work 12 hours a day and in one week it's done. But then, and then the, you can work together. Yeah, but crazy. then uh, the, the reality hits uh, <laughs> and uh, at the end I can work like three hours a day because then there is Luce, there is uh, other projects, uh, there is uh, filming, there is editing, there is so many things uh, Then, if you take from the 12 hours, the only three hours that we can work, then it's three months, it's not a week, so yeah. <laughs> But let's say that we have been working because first we hire the guys that uh, made the plaster because yes. we, we didn't know how to do it. We wanted to do very good. And yeah, it's really important to, lo to learn uh, exactly. from good people. So that's it's key because if you, you want to learn something well, you just hire the right people and you, 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 you see and you learn. Yeah, but to say something in your favor, I wanted to say that we basically started working on the house in September, so it's just less than three months. So it's two, two, two and a half full months. And you were a hero, really. My, my hero to be able to start the project of the, the copper pipes and because I really wanted it. And Luca said, okay, I can do it. I will do it for you. I love it as well. And everybody was saying, no, guys, it's not a good idea. Just yeah. use PVC or just whatever I, you I like. I also to tried to it. ask uh, professional people yeah. to do it and That's nobody true. wanted to do it. They were like, no, because it's all exposed. So you can see that. And uh, even uh, plumbers uh, that came uh, to see it, they, they were like, no, I will, I will not do it because uh, every detail you can see it. So it's hard to find people that want to put so many hours uh, doing a... Uh, something that it's way simple to just you know use other materials and do it inside a wall but uh, like Sarah she said no I wanted that way and I was like okay I will do it for you <laughs> but it will take uh, more time so answering the question when we will be done with the with the house in Sicily it depends <laughs> <laughs> now you have Hope, to say a month. hopefully I so again <laughs> When we will be back in Sicily, we have okay. the deadline for pruning the trees. Yes. So the priority will be pruning the trees, but at the same time, we, we, we don't have a house right now in Sicily. We only have that house because the house we were renting, we had... What are you doing? <laughs> Clemele, come, come. Because yes, I think that everybody wants to say hello to you. Yes. Beautiful. Come here, come okay. here, Lucia. What do you have? On your, you have some? Apples. Apples? What are you Where doing are with some apples on your front head? Front head. Next episode, we will also talk about what happened to Luca, to, to Luce, on to Luce. her for, for there. Head. There. You want to say Kids. hi, beautiful people? Say bye bye. Come and here, here. Come here. Come here. Tell people. Come here. Say, say. hello. People. Hello, oh, beautiful Lord. people. And say thumbs up. Thumbs up. No, no, do you want to go to Nonna? So Luce asked if you can just smash the thumbs up button, guys. We have 3,427 people watching and only 1,148 likes. So please follow Luce. Say hi to Nonna Bruna. <laughs> nonna, Nonna, come, come, come. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello, Mama. Say hello. Qui, qui, qui. Vieni giù, vieni giù. Vieni, vieni. Come, eccoci. Hello, beautiful people. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Hello. Hi. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, beautiful Luce people. Luce is seeing ciao. herself and us in the video and saying, what is going on here? Ciao, beautiful people. So Luce, people. Ciao. officially, she started to film. She wants to take pictures of everything. She wants to make video, videos of everything. Yeah, for now, it's a fake, yeah, it's a fake camera. It's a yeah. plastic fake camera because it's always falling in the, on the floor. Yeah. And she. <laughs> But uh, she fakes uh, the movement of filming others uh, and uh, creating a video. So we'll see when she will start with the real one, eh, Luce? What do you have here? Oh, an apple. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Luce, director. Director. The channel. Okay, so... Now do you want to remove this? 
Let's see when, when we will be able to finish it. it. We need to live there, so at least the basics, uh, at least to have the toilet working, uh, the kitchen working, uh, a, a, a heater, a temporary heater. And we're trying to cold. buy everything second hand or vintage <laughs> in vintage <laughs> challenge, in the challenge. Yeah, the yeah, challenge. we are, we are absolutely <laughs> <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> we are crazy for doing all of this, but uh, you know, and then, the problem is uh, that I am crazy and I married uh, a crazy woman, the same uh, craziness that I have. So together, it's a crazy life. Ragazzi, non ci sono sottotitoli in italiano, aiuto. So this is another thing that we like to say. I would like to say two things. The first one is, please. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, please. We want to say sorry for the title of the past video. Ah, yes. Because it was really not yeah. our, our intention, intention to, to scare anyone to or worry to worry you or to say something or clickbait. We just want to say the last video of 2024 and we put this in a pinned comment. Yes. And for us, it was just, you know, it's, it's a nice title and we were smiling in the thumbnail. So, and then. A lot of people said... Uh, and you, you, you were right, like thinking about it and thinking about Luca's situation was not the best choice. So we own it, we... We, we apologize. We, we apologize for that. So I just wanted to know that we don't want to offend you or we don't want to say... We know that you are following us and you love us, but it's the same for us. So uh, yeah, it was, was not our intention to, to write something that Yeah, and you. then in the video you you can see that uh, yeah, yeah, everything it's, it's, it's like the, the meaning is because it's the last video. At the beginning there is a goodbye to 2023. Yeah, exactly, goodbye 2023, and, uh, and, but could be like not so clear. So we own it and we are so sorry about it. And yeah, it's, 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 it's a, was a mistake, uh, but I think that it's smart to apologize and to just recognize when you are making mistakes. So sorry guys. And the second we, thing, wait, wait, I, we I have Joe. Joe Carney, good luck. Thank you so much, Joe. Then we have. Uh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, we, to, we, are, we are not we, able to. We lost all. Okay, here then we, we have, have faith. Uh, 2024 will be a year of health, will be in a happiness. Uh, Tao Te Ching, book of the way. If your way is too easy, you are on the wrong path. This was my, my previous boss favorite book, so I read it. Lori, thank you so much. Wish you all health and happiness in 2024. Same for you, thank you so thank much. You. We have also, I'm from the UK, we come to Trapani every year, me and my wife, and we'd love to meet you both. If we are in Sicily, that would be amazing, guys. Brian. We need to, Brian. Thank you very everyone much. Everyone sent money to Luca and finish the house in Sicily. <laughs> No, no, thank you guys. This is not 19, necessary. Goody, 69. Yeah, this, I read this. Oh. Yeah, we, I think that this year we will try to organize some meetups in Sicily because we have so many people uh, traveling. traveling and visiting Sicily that would like to, to meet up us and we like, we would like to meet you as well. But we need to just try to find the perfect dates and... Yeah, and when we are there, it gets crazy. Like, as we said, uh, so yeah. many things to do. So, yeah. I forgot the second thing that I was saying. Okay, the I, first... I, I said, uh, I want to say two things. The first one is sorry about the title. Thank you, Mary H. And the second one, guys, I'm getting old, so I <laughs> forgot stuff very easily. I still have the mom brain. Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I would like to say. I wanted to say something about... But CCA, the house... Uh... Yeah, the, I wanted to say that besides the renovation of the, the house, the 1,000 years old house, we wanted also to renovate the stone house that we have on our property, on our land. So this would be also another... Yeah, because for all the new... Uh... Sorry guys, thank you Nancy, thank you, wishing all the best in New Year, thank you. And JB, Happy New Year. Happy yeah, because new year. for all the new beautiful people on the channel, our first dream and uh, our first idea was to buy the property, the olive grove, and uh, trying to renovate a house or build a tiny house uh, and go and live on the property. Then uh, reality hit again. <laughs> and uh, 
since we have a little daughter and uh, things are super uh, complicated and long here in Italy to do so, we decided to buy the one euro house in order to have a place where to live. Uh, meanwhile, we can uh, do our dream, so build and renovate something on our property. So we are working also on that. Yes, yes. and thank you. I, I, I saw that there is also your brother, Dario. Ciao, Dario. Uh, and he said to me that I wanted to say something about the subtitles. So this is right. Thank you so much. And <laughs> also Daddy me. Claudio, I saw that he showed up uh, at okay. some point. Ciao, he, Daddy Claudio. He said hi from Daddy Claudia. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so probably Daddy he's, he's not very good at typing <laughs> on his phone. There no, is also let, let me... 51 March. Marshmallow with Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Ellen. Much love. Ciao, Ellen. Ciao, Ellen. Do you want to say ciao, Ellen? Say ciao, Ellen. Ciao. Ciao, Ellen. <laughs> so about the subtitles, uh, we received tons of questions and comments, especially from Italian people, of yeah. course, that are asking why you are Italian and you are speaking in English, you are not uh, putting the subtitles. So you can activate automate, automatic subtitles in our video. I don't know how the translation is. I think that it's not so good. But for us, think about just trying to, to translate every word from English to Italian. This would be a huge, huge job. So, so it's, it would be a huge job for us to, to write the subtitles in uh, No, it's, in impossible, it's impossible, especially. So our so channel, Mamma, Mamma, potete andare di là? So our channel uh, begin uh, like a travel channel. We decided to leave our previous job and uh, do the Alaska to Argentina project. So the idea is speak uh, in, uh, in the international yeah. language, uh, which uh, for travelers is English. So that's why we started everything in English. And what we noticed a lot during this, this past seven years, but also before, is that generally speaking, Italians are not so supportive of uh, people traveling because they think that they are not doing anything or people that are working on YouTube because they are thinking that it's not a job still. So we don't want like this kind of uh, mean comments and mean yeah, people. Yeah, we remember mean... uh, all, the, all the people who were trying to do our job uh, and travel and share on social yeah. media what they were doing. Uh, they, it, there was this... Um, um, envy? Nvidia, envy, yes. I think you say yeah, but uh, it, not in the good way. Like very in the negative. negative not, way. not inspirational, but just oh, you're trying are to traveling. destroy uh, your dreams and you're what, traveling yes. because your your daddy is giving you money, or you're traveling because you are rich. And yeah, we stuff. yeah, we tried to show the opposite. Like we left Italy with one thousand and seven hundred euro each when we left for Canada yeah. with a working holiday visa. We work a lot. We didn't do very much during our travel from Alaska to Argentina because we didn't have the money. We always, you know, sleep in our truck camper. We were traveling we, with a really low really budget. Low budget. Yeah. On a really low budget, it was very tough, very difficult. But this was the challenge. We was to was show also people. dangerous and scary in some. This was not so time. smart. Now so thinking about it, thinking about uh, we we don't uh, recommend to do no, this. Yes. But we want to inspire, especially young people. To travel and that was saying, possible saying that it's possible even if you are on a, on a budget so that's why we decided we know that some some italians they they love what we are doing even if they are not understanding what we are saying uh, but the, the speaking in english is and was the best choice yeah and for us uh, even the italians uh, who want to travel and uh, and see our videos uh, they need to learn english because if you are traveling uh, it's yeah you need it, that so they can learn. So we have David. Uh, Lucas, like Elon Musk, always anticipating early achievement days. So to me, to keep moving forward, not letting stumbling blocks the other division. By the way, he was in Sicily. Elon, Elon Musk? Musk. Oh, maybe, maybe he's buying a uh, next property. Uh, <laughs> property. Property next to us, okay. Yes. Then we have Vince. Thank you, Vince. Uh, Teresa. Thank you, thank you so much. We have Davide Parisi. Thank you, Davide. Grazie mille. And the Astro Mama Sara. Sending my love and prayers. Sending love and prayers to you too. Thank you so much and Happy New Year's. 
Okay, do you remember the second thing? <laughs> was about the subtitle. Ah, okay. Yeah, so the first was, one uh, was the... Ah, okay. The, but you were... I think the two were uh, I was reading, reading and not so. listening to your wife. Unfortunately, like I lost... always. Like always. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I lost a part of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is now is an excuse, guys. Let's try to stay... But it's real. No, it's real, but when you... Now, Luca is using a little bit this stuff, you know? When you... When he doesn't remember... A thing which happens a lot. What was happening a lot also before the stroke? Now, but now is way be worse. Now, no. Okay. Sometimes I can not even speak because I don't remember some words. It happened a few days ago. Speaking in Italian, not in English. <laughs> I mean, my now first language. Oh, Luce, Luce is coming to visit with a panda. A panda. So come but, here to say hi. No, of course it's 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 true that you lost part of the brain, but luckily. It, it's, it, it's still working. Sometimes it's hard because uh, the part that remains of my brain needs to work harder to con to, to compensate. To compensate. To compensate. You know, to work for the other part. Yes, that is <laughs> dead right now. Okay. Saluto da Germania. Germania. Hello. What happened, nonna? What happened? What Don't happened? kill our daughter. Don't kill our daughter, no? Don't kill Luce. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> It's scary to leave uh, our uh, da our daughter to our grandparents. Uh, no. You never know <laughs> if uh, she will survive. Dimmi, amor, you want to show your. I your I'm back? really lucky Come. to be alive uh, yeah. after my father and my mother. You are a survivor. I'm a survivor. a survivor. I survived uh, <laughs> Mama Bruna and Daddy Claudio. <coughs> So let's see other questions, guys. I'm late, South Africa. Ciao, Melinda. You want to show them this? Luce wants to show you. Can we move the phone a little bit just so that we yes. can? Yes. Bimba. Ciao, Bimba. What so do you want to show? She wants to show, the, show panda. the trolley. <laughs> the panda trolley. That this is for traveling, right? Ah, we have it's cool. Oh can you show people what you have inside here? Luce, you can do that on your channel. <laughs> She's already influencer. She's like, okay. okay. These are what? Ah, this is for. Ah, do you want uh. to, to to Ah, but these are not so good because I think that you will paint uh, Nona sofa, white sofa, that it's perfect for that. Okay, sit where you, I need to put this back. Panda, panda. Do you want your mouse? Okay. Your mouse? So lots of pandas over there. Panda. Panda. Now Luce, she wants to... No. Right. No, oh, with, the panda, with the panda, she wants no. the panda. No. No. Panda. 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 panda, with the panda, with the panda, with the panda. Run, run, run. Wrong choice, wrong choice. Okay, hello from Spain. What's your plan for the Ford pickup? Oh. No. I forgot wow. about that. That's no, another I... thing keeping it us uh, awake at, during the night we didn't we didn't forget about it no we didn't for, no, forget about no, no. It. We, so, we we even that was, we are trying to plan uh, we wanted to go actually in january. in january we wanted to fly to argentina try to figure it out the documents that we need and how to ship it uh, somewhere and do it uh, like okay let's do it in one week uh, let's fly over there Try to do everything, ship it uh, somewhere, and that's it. But then uh, the the bad news uh, was that uh, that I need to stay here, so we need to do postpone also that, uh, which uh, is keeping us awake during the night because uh, we need to remove it from the property of. Uh, I I mean nobody knew that uh, the pandemic would would be like uh, two years uh, and that we would have a daughter and that then the strokes would happen uh, so now it's like four years that is over there yeah uh, and uh, we thought uh, you know can we leave it on your property for a few weeks uh, we don't know when all of this pandemic will end uh, we thought uh, maybe in a few days maybe in a few weeks uh, maybe in a few months and then it becomes something that but of course we have to move yes. the truck camper from the property yeah. because aldo thank you aldo I don't, I don't know if you're watching us but you are very a hero a hero you are so nice and you have been so patient with us four but years we and you know every time something happened for real yes. like it was really not not expected 
but we will organize that travel very soon and we are thinking to ship uh, lucky you back to United States. Yes, yeah, so at some point we made a video asking if anyone had a, a piece of property or somewhere that we could leave it uh, um, for a long time. Uh, yeah, because in the United States we won't have the prob. We, like as person, we have six months visa, visa every each time. No, 90 days visa. Oh, 90 days that you can extend yes. for other 90 days. Yes. And it's possible and probably park in a property and having a safe spot and then when we can go back and forth and have the truck camper there so yes. with the Canadian plate we don't have problem that the, the, the camper is from, uh, from United Canada. States from Seattle yeah yeah Fort Orchard remember that trip yes so okay Ellen Ellen ciao a tutti ciao nonna Ellen grandma Ellen thank you so much thank you Paulina or Paulina and 4.99 uh, wakalaka thank you so much <laughs> wakalaka i like the name and um, where are you from uh, wakalaka it's like... it is drivable we don't know it was drivable four but... years ago when we left yeah. it there it was driving we don't now know the conditions now it's it's impossible to we need to go there and see it will be a video like just trying to start uh, the the engine yeah but uh, they are old vehicles, so they no, should be no, easy to, to try to make it run. Uh, and no, plus, no. we only need to run it no, from no. the property to the port uh, and put it on a ship. Uh, it, and it, then drive it to another no, place. Yes. So, and plus, in the United States, you can find a lot of parts uh, for that vehicle that you are not able to find in South America and here in Europe. So that vehicle needs to stay in North America. Non potete part. venderlo, so uh, no. We cannot sell it uh, because it has uh, Canadian plates uh, and... Uh, no, you cannot sell a vehicle that has Canadian plates in Argentina. You need a power of attorney, you need something. We, we, can, we can ask... So we the, enter the, camp, the, the country with a temporary importation, importation permit. permit. So it needs to get out of the country. If you want to sell it in Argentina, you need to import it. You need to import the vehicle in Argentina, yes. but I don't know if we can. No, we and can't. Anyways, we have to be, we are both owner, the owners of the vehicle. So, <laughs> so we, we need, need to be, be both they of want us you to be in person physically there, physically there, there. Um, and plus uh, since uh, they um, they basically uh, freezed uh, our temporary importation permit uh, for uh, the pandemic uh, which is something really unusual you basically it's the first time they have done uh, this uh, freezing the, the the permit we don't know how it works to make it uh, like the easiest option would be like selling the parts and this would be like economically mm, yeah good. but for us uh, like uh, that vehicle like our dream uh, is in the future to do a yeah a documentary about the expedition was so uh, so important step for us as a couple as a person it, it was a big achievement you know driving from alaska to argentina with such a vehicle and with such a budget so we really would like to to, to be able to keep it uh, so in the future when and we will be able to and do it. And if it's it, working, uh, we can donate to somebody or to a, some association or a, a museum. We yeah. don't know. <laughs> Another we don't know. Uh, so, no, lo wait, capisco. Uh, Alero, lo capisco. Spero che possiate tenerlo. Speriamo anche noi tantissimo. I saw so nonna Anna. Bis nonna Anna. Ciao nonna Anna. Ciao nonna. Artistic uh, Red, I'm so happy that you found your channel near the. I found you are incredible people and adore you guys from New Zealand. Thank you so much. Did something more. Paulina, waka waka. Waka laka. Waka laka. It's like David, the song. David, thank you. Na 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 Okay, buon anno dalla Florida. Norway, here is, oh, minus 30. In no way. So, can we go in the truck camper, the three of us are in the front uh, seat? Mm -hmm. We don't know, like uh, in each country you have a different loss. Uh, that vehicle has uh, three seats on the front uh, and, and three, uh, 
three seats on the back that you never saw. Because it's full of... It's full of stuff. Everything was like our garage was our... Yes, when you travel front. for so long, uh, you need to bring with you parts, uh, you need to bring... Uh, supplies, uh, tools, we uh, everything. Have, like, water, we have like beans, rice, store in the camper and in the truck. We were like, we were prepared uh, that if we break down in the middle of nowhere, we would be able to survive uh, for at least a few weeks. Uh, yeah. Without, uh, you know, because we were, we couldn't afford a GPS phone, uh, we couldn't afford many things. Uh, so we, we couldn't afford a reliable, a reliable vehicle, first of all, so that was like number one. <laughs> number one, don't ride over American Highway with a 1990 vehicle. Yeah, especially an $800 uh, mm. vehicle. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 like, we saw $200,000 uh, vehicles breaking down. So Why do we have the chat like on your face? Who cares? So you can see my face over there or over here. Okay, okay, no, but some people are commenting that they cannot see you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can squeeze here. <laughs> Probably if I can do like this. No, I will stop the light. I, I don't touch anything, guys, because... No, don't... we don't want to touch because... Uh... No. So we don't know if we are, are allowed to, to travel three people. We are allowed because it's like, it's registered for six people, that vehicle. Or for five. Yeah, we, it depends on each country if you can yeah. put uh, the, the seat, uh, the baby seat. Uh, how do you call it? The baby seat? The baby seat, the, the car seat. The car, the car seat, seat. Uh, in the front. But, uh, I mean, if we are going to Argentina to rescue Lucky Liu, we will need to rent the car anyways. And we, have, we will have a rent a car which... Uh, it's uh, properly... Another thing on the plate for us, 2024, oh, here we come. Yeah. We are, we are ready. Mm. And, uh, sorry, ah, okay, something that you have on your phone. So it's not something that depends on us, but depends on Yeah, your try to phone. put it vertical or uh, horizontal. Like on my phone, uh, I have it like this. So I have the chat down, ah, down here there, okay. and I have... Uh, the screen up there no we uh we did not um name our property in sicily or olive grove we did not name the olive oil o olive yet. oil yeah. yeah we need a name for the olive grove the label the name for the oil the oil company basically it will be three names yes the property the like the turismo like the the farm yeah and the and the oil. Okay, silence. <laughs> silence, I was the reading. And... Uh... Ah, okay, another thing, like, guys, we are receiving so many emails, so many Instagram messages, so many Facebook messages, so we cannot answer to all of you all of you it's impossible for us even to read all the comments sometimes it's impossible we are trying to read all the comments but sometimes you know in one day we receive like 100 200 different emails um we would love to help you to help you with your travels with to help you with purchasing properties in sicily we will do it as long as we can do it but we cannot answer to yeah. everybody because now it's just the two of us. It's impossible. And it's really, it's really impossible to, to answer to everybody. But we are reading you, almost every of you. It's, it's, so I just want to, to, to tell you that we are aware of your messages and we are aware of your emails. Look at Sarah Dream. <laughs> Where is uh, yeah. Luce? So Luce is... Here is behind the camera with my mother. Yeah, now Luce is in a phase where she's, she doesn't love to stay and sit like for a very long time. So it's better if she goes around, otherwise she will talk and she will scream and she will laugh. She will repeat everything that we are saying. So for you will not be enjoyable to, to just hear the ends of our words every time. <laughs> Uh, Lori Bash, thank you. Wishing Optimus health and joy field adventure in 2024. Thank you. Love always wins. Always. L'amore vince sempre. sempre. <laughs> Shambhala, name of the property. 
Name of a bar. Yeah, we want to put like Luce somewhere in the name for sure and dedicate probably the, the oil to Luce. Uh, but we have to, to just think okay. about it. What happened Anytime. to Luce here? The question. We will show it in the next video. Yeah, but nothing, nothing too serious, guys. Yes. So don't worry. She's okay. Uh, we we had to go to the hospital, yes. but uh, she she's okay now. She's okay now. We oh. need to go back to the hospital on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. So another day at the hospital it was the first day. On Wednesday, we decided to go and have some spend some yeah, time a day off. together. Day off. We say okay, let's go and do some fun activities. Uh, and we ended up yeah. at the hospital. All, yeah. all Not for me, for Luce. No, for Luce, for Luce this time. So it was a, a tough beginning of the year. But this is something ha that happened when, when that happens when you have like a toddler walking around and going around. But she's okay. So yeah, thank yeah. you for We will asking. talk in the next episode about what happened. Uh, we have um, Andrea. Andrea. Ruiz. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So guys, 3,600 people watching. You are amazing. Wow. Thumbs up for you, Luca. Thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Lucia should be here. She loves doing the thumbs up thing. This is incredible. Yeah, yeah. She bumped her head. Uh, bad stitches. Mm, I don't know if it's not stitches because they, no. they will not do that, that anymore. On, it's glue. They glue it they glue uh, now. It. They close it with something and then they glue it. Uh, because otherwise, otherwise it would be aesthetically yeah. terrible. On the face, uh, they, they try to use the, the, the glue and not the stitches uh, for uh, aesthetical reasons. I can only tell you that there were five people, five doctors holding Luce plus me yeah. just trying to glue. Uh, it was terrible. was terrible. We, Very... we came home exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. something that it's, 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 not, yeah. it's not good to, to experience. experience. But and again, unfortunately, at the hospital, we met so many other children and so many other parents. Uh, and they were like, it's just the first uh, of yeah. a long list. Get ready. Uh, get ready it. because as soon they start walking and running and... Uh, and plus, we want Luce to be able to feel free to, to run and walk uh, because it's the way we grew up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also our parents, they, they told us, you know, it happened to you and it happened to your brother and uh, everyone. Yeah, it's not the stress, stress we needed, yeah. but yeah, it's... Uh, what, what can we do, guys? It's, it's, it's horrible to leave. Like, I lost... We lost 10 years in one day, Yeah. Uh, so that's why we are looking older today. <laughs> but we are experiencing everything, you know, in such a short amount of time that... And both of us, we don't like blood. No. And as soon as you cut your head, uh, so much blood uh, goes that we were shocked. Yeah. Mark and Michelle. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys from UK. UK. I would like to say, I don't know if Dave is here, is watching us. Dave from UK, Dave and Julia, if you are Dave and Julia, Dave came to us and helped us for about three weeks. Yeah, if you, if you saw the, the olive harvest and uh, the, be else. the beginning of the plan, plumbing and uh, you know who Dave is, he's uh, a famous guy. <laughs> it was <laughs> his birthday? Not, would be tomorrow, so tomorrow. please help us and say uh, a huge uh, happy wishes. birthday for tomorrow. Yeah, it's I don't know in other countries if you can say happy birthday before. In Italy you shouldn't because yeah. it's bad luck. But in 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 this case we just wanted to. We don't believe in bad luck. No, uh, no, exactly. Uh, so, Dave, you are a legend. Thank you so much for your help. We miss you. And actually, Lucia. Lucia is is wearing a dress that. Uh, Julia and Dave uh, brought to us in Sicily. Yes, so it's, it's special and it was so special to connect with other people yes. that came to help us during the olive harvest. All, all the volunteers, they were really We special. stayed in touch with Steve, with, uh, with Joe, with Dave, all our beautiful Sicilian family, our neighbors. Yes. Um, we missed, this is what I was saying at the beginning, we missed being in Sicily so much, it was such a, a nice. culture shock to be back in Piedmont because it's so different here. People yeah, are the, so commu different. the community there, 
moving to Sicily, Luce gained uh, so many grandparents and grandmothers uh, that actually are helping us a lot uh, over there. So that was amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. So we have Nancy. Nancy Esposito. Did Luca get second opinion on Spinal League with especially outside of Italy? Praying the fixes so you can get on with your lives. Love you guys. Uh, so no. basically the, the doctor that is following my case is, the one, is basically the best one here in Italy. And, uh, and it's the only one in Italy doing this kind of surgery. And for the thing that I have, uh, there are only two options. Uh, patch or the surgery, which uh, basically there is only a guy in Germany or in Belgium, I don't remember. In Germany, I think. There is only one in Europe uh, which is doing this procedure, but it's so high risk uh, because they need to move, uh, uh, they need to work inside of your spine uh, and um, the, per the percentage uh, that it can go wrong and you can lose uh, like uh, the feeling or the moving of your legs or the, the, your lower part of the body is so high that uh, for the life I'm living right now is not uh, uh, worth it. So everyone would say try the patch again and again until you, 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 you close the, the, this hole that I have in my spine which this leaking is what caused uh, my brain not to float in the, the liquid and go down, who caused it. Because a lot of people, when they hear strokes, uh, they believe it was something in my veins, in my blood, in my heart, uh, which it was actually nothing to do with. And also, we never mentioned this, we received the test, the genetic test back from Lu Luca after more than one year, in November. We yeah, when I was at the hospital, I, say, I said to them, you know, Whatever you can do to help also other people in the future, research. get all the examples inside my, mm, use the, all the details, the, the information, the data you have, for, that you are getting from me, use it also for, for the future. So other people, not, they don't need to go through what I needed to go. And uh, even just the surgery that I had uh, was a, a test that they never done it before. And uh, we send a lot of blood and samples to, to have all the, um, the tests uh, for see if it was something genetic, uh, what it could be. So, but uh, the, the test came back and the result is that Luca is, is nothing, nothing genetic. genetic, like negative for, uh, he tested for over 40 uh, disease connected with collagen and... Um, Everything that, can, could, that could be related yes, uh, to, to that. that. The problem is that I have a bone inside my spine. There is a bone, a kind of hook, a hook, which uh, it does like this, uh, and it creates uh, this hole. And basically, to to remove uh, this uh, this bone, uh, they would have to go inside my spine, uh, and um, it's and a it's, very it's a like a you. Position that this you is a, you need to work from this side because this side is like in front and you cannot get inside my my spine from the front. So you should get it from the back, but you cannot see it. So you need to work without seeing it. So it's really it's almost impossible to do it. So Luca already have done this uh, procedure, the blood patch, uh, last year, like two years ago now, at the end of 2022. And the doctor told us, you know, maybe working, maybe not. And was working in the beginning, now it's not working anymore. And the second opinion, I just want to say you that, that we, Luca did the MRI, the first MRI in Sicily, and our experience in Sicily was 100% positive. Good. But the doctors, if you don't speak with the right doctors, they watch the MRI and say, everything is fine, everything is good, you are healing. If you don't know how, what to look, like this doctor is the only one that... There are only few doctors specialist. in the world uh, that yeah. are, uh, that knows uh, this, like what I have, it's really, really rare. Yeah. R so rare that uh, only few doctors uh, know, like it's really common to women who get the epidural. Mm -mm -mm super common so it's really easy also to to do the patch like basically i believe 90 percent of uh, patients who have my uh, the the leak my leaking they they come from that uh, part. having something like me 
like uh, for the doctor was like uh, it's, it's really rare and especially going uh, to the extreme uh, way that I went uh, so losing so much uh, liquid that the brain uh, wasn't floating uh, and I broke a, a vein that caused uh, all the things that caused uh, and other veins was squeezed uh, and that was it caused the uh, 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 thrombosis, thrombosis. Uh, and, uh, yeah. but I mean, yeah. uh, we, we search uh, so much online, uh, we, we spoke uh, with... But I think that when, if everything will be fine and we can organize everything, that we will be back in the United States, uh, w I would love to have a second opinion. It's always good to have a second opinion, but from somebody that is working on that field, that is specialist, yes. that knows what you're talking about. It's Otherwise, so it's just losing time. Yes, it's so a small it's a niche. niche. Yes, that you need to speak with the right doctor. So I, I think that somebody in the United States received some emails about uh, yes. doctors that are working on, on, this, on this kind of... Because everything is coming from the United States. Also, the doctors in Italy that they were studying all the, the tests and the results and the data from the United States. Yes. So I think that we can have like a, a second opinion probably in that country it would be yeah, a nice well, idea. For now, we will try this. Uh, yeah. Uh, and if, if it's successful, great. If it's not, uh, then we'll go plan B, plan C, plan D. We'll keep fighting. I mean, I'm still 35. How old are I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm 35. So. Hopefully there is a lot of life uh, to live uh, still. Of course it is, of course. So if it doesn't work this time, uh, we will find a way. Yeah, you as, just need to adjust. As we always do. You just need to adjust to a different lifestyle. And in your mind, you always want to do the same things you were doing before the strokes, but then uh, the reality is different. Yeah. Now we have a daughter. Luca cannot do the same things he was doing before. I cannot do the same things I was doing before because I have to to take care of Lucha, I have to take care of Luca. He's like more um, tired. He needs to, to way stop more. way more tired. The, 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 um, the pills he's taking, they are pretty strong, but they are necessary. Yeah, so, mentally and physically, they are affecting me. I think and plus, I, they told me you cannot do anything that uh, involves your, your spine. So I'm not doing any kind of sports or anything, uh, you know, that can I, be dangerous. I always watch this after, of course, the shock that we lived and these terrible moments in our lives. I always think that this came, this for happened a for a reason, that we started our channel because we want to inspire people about traveling, about a different lifestyle, to change life if you're not fulfilled, if you're not feeling happy about it. And I think this was um, a possibility, you know, uh, something that happened because was saying, okay, Luca, you can inspire other people that are suffering, not from your same leakage or your same disease, but from some, something else. And we always said, if we can only, only inspire even just one people that is watching us, then it's our job it is, is doing, it's, it's uh, worth it to share, it's, it's worth doing what we are doing. So, and we have a responsibility to, to share not everything, of course, that uh, because otherwise we'll be very boring, very sad sometimes, very negative. But to share that it's possible to to still working on some projects, to still have dreams, to still achieve that dreams, to still have a life, have a daughter, have a wife, live your life. And I think you are a very good example. Uh, so as I said, if we can inspire just one people that is watching us, then I'm I'm happy. No? Absolutely. So this is, this is very, very important. Okay, so let's... Thank Mariana, you. thank you. Sorry, guys, we just have to stop and watch on the... Uh, Prague. Uh, yeah. Prague, Perception Philosophy. Thank you so much. Happy New Year as well. Then uh, we have... Um, oh, so many comments, guys. Jean? Hacker, thank you. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up to spread the love. Don't forget it. Salute della Serbia. When is going to be your surgery? We don't know yet, guys. Probably end of January, February. Uh, I believe you know. on the 18th of January, they will. I have the appointment with the anesthetist. Anes Anesthesiologist. How do you say? The one who gives you the anesthesia. 
anesthesia you say i don't know but i think that they they will tell me in uh in the 18th i think they they will tell me when it's the the spot so how long have we been uh Life. Yeah, now I have I seen just a question um, about how we how did we find found uh, how did we find the volunteers? Just we receive emails that they they were offering you know their help because they were following us for a long they time. They knew that we had to do the harvest, uh, and they said, guys, because you are you are filming your life and you are just providing us with so much entertainment every week we would like to give back to you and this is our way to try to, to help you to yes. help you so they came to us and they write us they wrote us and it was like and all of them amazing. they said uh, you know it was so a nice experience that next year we'll come back uh, so hopefully next year we'll be prepared uh, to to have more volunteers and make it safer yes first of all safer and, the, and have everything uh, organized better because this year was, was the first year and uh, plus i don't think i don't know like with the pruning we we will see how many olives we will have next year usually when you prune uh, then you get a little bit less olives uh, but we will see i mean it has to be fun uh, not uh, it has to be for one for once in our life i would like to enjoy yes. the process step by step because the travel from alaska from alaska argentina was every day moving uh, never, and never 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 sleep in the same spot yeah. one night after the other night just two days in a row always changing place and that was amazing but was very stressful and now even so many projects to get i would like to enjoy the process i would like to really work on the farm work on the house and not always just run 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 and ha be in a rush so just slow down a little bit and i think also if we don't put like too many topics in one video that would be okay as well we always yeah want to... we, we said that uh, our videos <laughs> yes. uh, right now they will be a little bit shorter like 15 minutes uh. yeah especially in january and february they will be shorter it will be updates uh, about what we're doing uh the hospital like uh what is going on uh, say hi to all of you yeah but uh, i mean we're trying to slow down uh, it's something that uh, really hard for us uh, but we need to do it because otherwise uh, uh, yeah we will not make it uh, we have so many beautiful plans uh, and things that we would love doing but if we don't slow down uh, then we will not be able to do any of them or we will do it better we will not enjoy them uh, and what's the point of doing all of these in our lives if we don't enjoy doing them? So we... Yeah, so a little recap for 2024, because if you are just watching right now, probably you missed or probably you are just not watching the entire live stream. So plan, first thing first is look at surgery, January. Yes. Then we'll go back to Sicily and start pruning our olive trees and working on finishing the renovation of the house and then we will share all the costs with you guys we promise that yeah. and we would like to be very you know real. clear and real about that everything we will share everything and at the same time organize to move the truck camper like you from argentina to uh, united states to united uh, states and yeah. then working uh, to uh, ah, we are looking also for a, um, a graphic designer that can help us with the labeling with the label of the yeah. And the logo, oil. the logo and the, the logo, labeling. the labeling would be nice because we are we are not good doing this. So if also, you, uh, how do you say, land designer or oh, land, land, desi land designer, land designer, landscape yeah, designer, landscape designer, probably that can help us uh, have a vision, a better vision of uh, our property because we we have so huge plans for uh, that property, but yeah. You need to think uh, about so many things uh, uh, before starting, uh, even planning where to put uh, this, where to put that, uh, uh, the, the hydraulical stuff, uh, the electrical stuff, uh, it's so much. Yeah, that, uh, so then another project working on the farm and working yes. on, uh, probably start working on the stone house, maybe, get this uh, professional farmer degree and i think that this will be already a lot uh, on uh, on our plate for for 2024 and then let's see i would like to travel a little bit i have like i really need to travel i would like to go on a vacation i would like to take some yeah. time off and go like one week 
vacation? No, 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 not no? one week. So <laughs> the last vacation we had was one week in Isola d'Elba with my father. Yes. That, and but we were filming, so it was not like complete Yeah, but vacation. plus uh, one week was not enough. Like, no, because it was two days traveling. Two days traveling, then uh, four days over there, and then uh, one day traveling again. So no. we need to spend at least two weeks in one place without moving. Uh, just relax. Yes, yes. Otherwise, uh, but uh, I don't know if we will be able because... Uh, <laughs> So we have uh, Andrea, Luca, I have a candle lighted for you in Mexico City, Basilica de Guadalupe. We live in San Francisco, California, and we want a property in Castelbono, Sicily. Oh, so let us know when you're coming back because we are not so far away. <laughs> we love Castelbono. It's such an amazing place. We love it. It's a beautiful town. We really like it. So let us know, guys, if it's you're coming. It's where we bought the panettone. It's where we bought the Fiasconaro panettone, and we sometimes we, we it's travel where we there. Where did, we, did, we do the deed. Yeah, we have a notary yes. there. So um, we know that place very well. So let us know, guys, if you're coming to Sicily. Let us know. We will also, we will also share other properties good deal of properties. We don't know when. This was also yeah, our plans. We, we had we, more than. I don't know how many people we At have. At least a, 20 very interested in buying a yes. property where we live because the prices are very appealing. They are yes. good prices and the, the place is very beautiful. We have the sea view. We are not too far away from, from the coast, but we are not on the coast. So it's not touristic at, at all. Which and for us, it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, uh, there are so many well, places who are too touristic that in the busy times uh, are chaotic uh, and we yeah. don't want that no absolutely um, so let us know if you if you are coming to Sicily and let us know if you are following us along all our adventures yes and also let's just remind that next week we will be filming in a question and yes. answer yeah. so if you have any questions uh, go down in the in the comments uh, not here on the chat but in the comments below and uh, leave us a question we'll try to answer as much as we can especially even for our loyal subscribers long long life to subscribers but especially for new people because after we we bought the house in sicily we we have a lot of people beautiful new, people new, beautiful new people, people, people watching yeah. us probably that know us just for the the sicily chapter and probably they don't know us before we have like over 500 videos you want to see more about our lives yeah and something that uh, many people don't know is that uh, we have playlists uh, on our channel yeah which you can see if you start the playlist you can see the videos in order in a, a on a timeline so you can see one after the other which make it easier to, if you, I don't know, you have a weekend and you want to see 10 videos, you can just uh, put the playlist that we have like uh, different countries, uh, different uh, things like do it yourself, uh, hot springs, uh, uh, traveling, uh, we have everything like Van Life Italy or Liu in, uh, in, in all the countries we travel in, uh, in, in the Americas, so from uh, Alaska, then Canada, United States, uh, and then uh, Mexico, and going down till Argentina. I have to say thank you to Skeptic. Good luck and never lose hope. Never, never. never. Andrea, my husband, and uh, is from there a twin day. It's impossible. I, it's impossible to travel. They live in San Francisco. Okay, so you, you are not traveling right now to Castelbuono, if I understand well. And then we have thank you to. Uh, Arlen and Cynthia from Alberta, Canada. Yes. Thank you guys. Another place uh, which could be nice also to, to bring Lucky Liu is uh, either United States or Mexico. There are some parts of Mexico where um, you don't need uh, a temporary importation permit for yeah, the vehicles yeah, yeah. and plus for Mexico having the Italian passport you can have six months visa so not 90 days visa but uh, no, that, 180 to... days visa Luce here to say goodbye Luce yeah. come come amore ciao oh you're flying oh, oh. this is the dress uh, from uh... no want to stay here
Just Wait for say, the time's up. No. Do you like no. today's no. episode? No. 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 She wants to go with no. Nonna. Nonna, she wants you. She wants, she wants to see the tram. She wants to see outside the window. Yeah, we have the... How do you say? Tram. Tram. Also the bus. In English. The bus. And she, she loves to watch from the window with Nonna. Okay, guys. I think that this is a long, long, long live stream. Every time we say, okay, let's do just half an hour so it won't be too long to watch for other people watching like then it's after over the live one stream. Hour. Ah, Andrea, I meant to say that our twin day have all oh, this man has been hard, but we keep going. Never lose hope, Andrea. Never, never. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Post what you comments. Okay, probably you can comment after we finish the live stream. Yeah, uh, probably because we did it from the phone, uh, so oh, probably yeah. we needed to allow the comments. We will uh, figure that out uh, and uh, we will okay, unlock okay, the okay. comments. Uh, we would love to stay here, guys, for a very long time. If you yes. like another live, live stream, yes, this, would be, this would be like good for us because we don't have to do the editing of the videos. <laughs> <laughs> I can take some time, some time off, let's say like this. It's convenient. Uh, it's convenient sometimes, live stream. First of all, because we can speak with you and you can see us real time, we can answer so many questions and we can just see, see you guys. And then, of course, it's, uh, I will be honest, would be also because I, have, I don't have to do the editing that sometimes it's very hard because I have to edit during the night um, because Lucha is not sleeping so much during the day. Love, no, always wins. Uh, love always wins and Lucha Soro is a suggestion for olive oil. This is a beautiful name, thank you. Paul Di Viara, buon anno da Boston, a nord o Puglia, buon anno, grazie mille. Allora salutiamo tutte le persone che ci stanno guardando in italiano, so che siete pochi pochi, però è giusto ogni tanto che diciamo qualcosina anche in italiano. So grazie Sara mille. is uh, saying hi to all the Italian following us. You can say something in Portuguese. Un abbraccio per tutto il mondo, do Brasil, do Portugal. Und viele Grüße. <lacht> Viele Grüße, liebe Grüße. Äh, wir, wir sollen auch nach, nach Deutschland fahren. Ja, yeah. okay. one day, one day. And then a little say a little goodbye in Spanish. Gracias, Muchísimas gracias. And we love you guys. Happy New Year. Un abrazo. Nos vemos pronto. Yes. Nos vemos pronto. Next Sunday. Tanti baci. We'll see you next Sunday. Uh, I don't know if Lucia wants to say... No, she, she's having a blast with Nonna. She's just, having just, fun. Just saying bye-bye. Wait, blast with Nonna. She loves uh, watching from the window all the cars. and uh, So she's used to stay in places uh, quiet, uh, in the middle of nature. So as soon as she comes to the city, she's like, where am I? All these cars, these buses. Uh, so she, she enjoys uh, also the city. Sara and I, not so much. We enjoy the nature and quiet. Ooh. Okay, beautiful people. I believe uh, here is where we will let you go with Luce, with Sara. Bye bye. We love you. Thank you for coming along with us. We'll see you next Sunday. And remember, la vita è bella. Life is beautiful and life is beautiful and uh, love always wins. Love always wins. L'amore vince, vince sempre. sempre. <laughs> ciao ciao. Manda un bacio. Mua, 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 mua. A kiss. Ciao. And the thumbs up? Do you like the thumbs up? Uh, ciao <laughs> beautiful people. Thumbs up. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Thank you for today. Thank you for everything. We love you. Happy Sunday. Mm, Happy yeah. New Year. Have a ciao. wonderful life. Ciao. Bye, bye. bye.